Time for an update on the 1.5 gallon Pico Reef. I was actually considering taking this tank down because the small size and the terrible lighting that it had, I really couldn't do much with it. I even tried upgrading the LEDs with some blue LEDs to see if it would give the corals more pop, but I didn't have very much success with that. It just didn't put out enough power to grow corals. My next idea was to move the aquarium over to the windowsill where it could catch some morning sun, and it definitely had a positive impact on the corals in here. I'm still considering lighting options for this, but for the time being, I'm just going to leave it in the natural sunlight and see what happens. Without proper reef lighting, we're not going to see those amazing neon colors we're accustomed to, but for now, we'll be able to enjoy these corals in our natural state. I did not put a whole lot in here yet, but as I started to look closer, I realized there definitely is the beginning of a small ecosystem forming in here. So let me show you some of the things I observed in this tiny 1.5 gallon Pico Reef. Here's a piece of pulsing zinnia, which was not doing very much pulsing under the LED light alone, but now that it's in the sunlight, it does seem to have more energy. Here are some mushrooms, which were green when they went in, but they are brown now. Here's something else, which lost its green color. These were green star polyps, and I guess now they would be called brown star polyps. This is another piece of the pulsing zinnia, which seems to be a little more active than the other one. I think these are clove polyps. I found them in my 180 gallon reef, pulled them off of the rock and put them in here and we'll see what they do. I put a single blue leg hermit crab in here and although he might look big in this picture, he actually is quite tiny. There also is a chip of red montipore there and we'll see what happens with it. Just for fun, I put a couple of SPS frags in here. So up top is a small frag of green Pasilopora, and over to the right is pink bird's nest. And you'll see a few brittle stars poking their arms out, and I wanted to see if I can get them on camera, so I threw a few pellets in to see if they would come out. To my surprise, an amphipod darted out of the rocks and grabbed one of the pellets, which was almost as big as it was, and he made off with his prize. The starfish did eventually make it down to pick up what was left, but I thought it was kind of funny to see those amphipods dart out and make off with the pellets like that. This was another one that seemed to be hiding behind the shell, so the starfish didn't see him make off with their meal. And back here is a Kenya tree coral, which seems to be doing just fine in here. And apparently a bristle worm made its way into here, which is fine because it just adds to the biodiversity inside this tiny 1.5 gallon acrylic box. The Sarath snail made an appearance, so I got him on camera and I had actually forgotten that I had put him in here. The other side of the aquarium has some red macroalgae, and I think I see another amphipod hiding out in there. So that's about it for today's update. I'm going to be keeping my eyes open for any other small coral frags or inverts 
Or maybe even a fish if I can find one small enough that would be suitable for this aquarium. I'm definitely going to be adding to it and see what happens with it. So we'll see. I guess I'll end it here, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you want to find out what happens with this 1.5 gallon Pico Reef, hit that subscribe button and follow along. We'll leave this with a shot of how the tank looks under the LED lights at night. And I will catch you guys next time.